Hello Taurus and happy birthday to those of you born at the end of April. This is your monthly reading for April with Lorian and it's an absolute pleasure to be able to bring you these readings every month. So this month we're going to be using the Druidcraft Tarot, very spiritual deck, um, just to have a look and see what information comes through and also drawing a rune instead of an oracle card this month. I do rune readings every month on Patreon. Um, so if you want to look at the extra additional readings that I do every month, all you have to do is support me via there. Or if you want a private reading, I am available for private readings. The links of everything are down below beneath the screen. So let's have a look and see what information comes through. This is for Taurus Gem, sorry, Taurus Moon, Rising and Sun Sign. And it will be a general reading. So if you want something that seems to be more cohesive, you can try the other signs that make up yourself. If it's romance you're looking for, maybe it would be your Venus sign. So for instance, if your Venus is in Sagittarius, then you can have a look at the Sagittarius sign and see if that kind of makes more sense to you. But if it is something like a more private reading you want, just click the link below. Let's see. Taurus, I'm getting a lot of change for you getting a lot of change, especially for those of you with their birthday in April. That seems to be a very big key here. What I'll also say is that you should be able now to um, go on my website and click for a special birthday reading for those of you with their son in Taurus. But um, the main thing that I'm feeling here is that you have a great opportunity coming in and there's major changes that are going to be starting. For instance, when I say starting, I mean that it's going to be um, little by little. So you may not suddenly pack up and move house overnight. But there's definite changes on the way. Awesome. Oh, hello. Wow, wow, okay. Well, what was I saying? Made changes. Okay, let's have a look and see. Okay. I always as well invite you to kind of um, meditate on the card yourself and see if there's something that you can pick up that's relevant to you. For instance, if you've seen butterflies or rainbows and then suddenly you see a rainbow, for instance, in this card, and you're like, oh, well, I wonder what that means. You know, it could be something like that. But let's have a look and see. So the major changes are coming through. I see it here. And I see it here, it's almost like it bookends your month. Um, but you have to wait. There's something here that you may start at the end of March and you're waiting for the reward, almost. Or you're waiting to be able to set it in motion. The way that they're actually bringing this forward to me is in the sign, in the sign of a seed. So the seed you're planting at the beginning of this month, or even in the end of March, is then going to grow and it's going to take some nurturing and it's going to take some kind of dedication and patience and then you're going to be able to take advantage of the spirit of energy that that plant or that you know the metaphorical um seed has given you and also sharing some healing if you've had some issues with your throat is what they're actually showing me um throat chest area sinuses if you've had issues with that, I think that you're going to be getting them checked out or you will notice that dissipate. Um, for those of you with hay fever, you may need to up the dose of antihistamine, for instance, but you will get a solution to the trouble that you've had with your throats and things like that. You may find that the winter long cold is now kind of getting being gotten rid of. Um, There's a casual stance to this month. There's direction and there's change, but it's not going to, like I say, it's not going to be immediate, instant, drastic, overnight change. You're going to start to see and sense the wheel moving and you're going to start to, just as we, you know, as spring comes through, we start to smell it in the air and we're like, oh yeah, we can sense, sense this change. This is kind of what I'm feeling for you. So... Here, this is normally the temperance card. This can be about reconciliation, but I don't necessarily feel that this is with somebody else. This seems to be um, almost like you are 
being the, uh, how to put it, alchemist of your own life. And it's almost as though you're saying, right, I need this, I need this, I need this, and being very measured in your approach. This at the back, I don't know whether you can see, it's got a beautiful arching rainbow. This is kind of like saying, the pot of gold that you're searching for may be right in front of you if you just make sure that you have the right ingredients. Now when I say that, I mean it could be, I want my relationship to be loving, I want to find my partner, I want to patch things up with my friend, I want to get over this cold, I want to change career, I want my family to be happier. Whatever is your pot of gold, I think you have the chemical information to be able to apply it to it and actually see it delivered to you closer to home. You don't have to go out searching for it, it's right in front of you, you just have to make sure that the mixture and the effort you're putting into it is good, it's solid, it's something that you can actually commit to, basically. Yes, I'm getting a good feeling from that. I think that's also to do with the healing. Um, but you start the chemical mixture, as with any potion, it takes time to steep. So while that's doing, and your intentions are being set at the beginning of the month, and your basically direction as to what you want to achieve in April, sorry, I think the camera just a little bit there. Um, you see what you want to achieve, then we get into the nitty gritty. Queen of Wands could be the transition from Aries into the Taurus time. But for most of you, I see this as being kind of a, two different strategies. Um, one could be being very motherly. It could also be very scatterbrained in a way. Um, I feel this person in particular actually is an incredible asset to you. Although she could also be a bit fiery tempered now and again. She is somebody who seems to be stitching things together for you. That's the main thing I see. This, I know it's a wand, but I feel this is almost like a needle. She's stitching things together. She's making sure that you see the bigger patchwork quilt and the bigger picture come together. The fire of something, the fire of need and desire can burn very quickly within you but she's there to tell you how to nurture it rather than let it spread through. Um, she's an incredibly good person. She may be a little bit smothering with her intentions sometimes but I feel she's very good. This could also be a guide for some of you or just the energy of the month because it's a very deep Aries month. So it could be this aspect of you, especially if you have Aries in your chart, that is coming through saying, nurture this fire rather than let it spread like wildfire, you know? And even here, we have the fire in the background of him. If you can see here, oh, sorry, you've got the fire there and you've also got the fire there. So, yeah, to me, this is kind of, it's not chalk and cheese, it's, it's one, two sides of the same coin. So here we have Dawn, we have a little Robin, um, who always symbolises protection to me, and it's basically, it's very casual stance, almost similar stance, like mirror image, um, but it's always about the practicality of it. So you've nurtured it, you know what you're doing, and now comes the practical headway of it, so you have a problem, the fire of the idea as to how to solve it, this is where it comes in. So it's almost as though, right, so in order to pass this exam, which is the problem, I need to study. In order to get my relationship back on track or in order to feel confident to seek a partner or get over a partner or fix this family, what I have to do is this, and now comes the practical application. This is very, true for you moving forwards. This is basically the boring bit of the month where nothing seems to be happening but the change you can still feel within you. You can still see feel a change. That's where the magician comes in. So the magician is a master basically. He can also be an apprentice but again the dawn in the background, the feeling of I can achieve this, I can actually see this. He's wearing falcon feathers um, which is actually what Freya wears, but it's the transformational energy. It's almost like saying that from one to the next, there's kind of an infinity, there's a circle of life coming through here, and she's basically, this side of yourself is giving you the wand, it's giving you the needlework to actually set through and actually stitch your future together. Um, 
I'm just having a look there. There does seem to be that you need a little bit of balance because I've just noticed, I don't know whether you can see, but uh, probably not. Um, it's a Libra, a symbol of Libra there. So I feel that you definitely need some balance in there um, and kind of like some even stuff. But you're, command you're in a commanding position towards the end of April. I think you're feeling a little bit more confident in yourself from having done the practical application and had that kind of surge. I think now you will be in a position to manifest, do the law of attraction, have a lot of positivity. So that really seems to come through very well. Let's have a look and see. What the moon's health for you? I have to say for Taurus in April 2017. Now I'm just going to close my eyes as I try and feel. Okay, so it's you. Oh. And who do we have? Oh, okay. So I forget the name of this, unfortunately. Um, but I do feel that it's a very important rune to kind of take on. I think this is um, more to do with your, for you this month, this is more to do with your DNA. This is to do with your, how to put it, it's really difficult to ask how to word this, what they're giving me, the feeling of it. It's almost like to receive, you have to make some sacrifices to develop. You have to kind of see what your weaknesses are. It's something like the balance of give and take here. And I'm feeling as though it's almost like mixtures of people. Oh, I really difficult to try and describe it. Basically, I feel this is kind of saying the crossroads is coming. And there's a definite weaving energy for you. There's a definite movement in what's actually seemingly coming through for you this month. But I think the me another message that seems to be coming through is not to worry about how this affects you, even in the um, further future. So even like seven months down the line this april is still going to be very key for you and i think it's because we're in the first month of the zodiac year so we have everything here but also i think we also have um we're still feeling the effects of the lunar eclipse and the solar eclipse and all that kind of stuff and especially with this one it may be that you're kind of trying to heal from the effects of that particular one as well so this could be something that's almost trying for you and you're desperately trying to figure out what it is that you need to do, how it is you can heal yourself. But I, I, I get the impression that this in particular, and I wish I could remember the name of it, is about balancing, is about seeing the weaknesses with the strengths, it is about having to focus yourself on the productivity, from the practical applications, from... Just having like marking an ending so you can have a new beginning. It's that kind of thing. It's both sides of the same coin. And if you want to have um, kind of freedom, and if you want to have beginnings or milestones, this could be the first thing. This month could be the first turning point for you, basically. But it really does seem like there's a, a, quite a grand sweep of things making up for you Taurus and I really do wish you the best of luck what do you have planned for this month is there anything special have you been having issues with your health that you hope to you know recover from this month just take, give me a bell you know like comment below thank you as always for subscribing sharing and commenting it really does give me you know so much pleasure and joy to know that these messages are actually resonating with you and again, if you want a private reading with myself, a full array of information is down below on the link. And also, if you would like to support me on Patreon, even if it's just a dollar a month, you know, every little helps when you're a tarot reader. Um, I'm hoping to get a new deck soon as well. So that might be nice. But enjoy this April. Enjoy this month. Let me know how it goes. Make sure you're taking care of yourself. And I really do look forward to talking to you in your birthday month of May. Speak soon.